Chess is a balance of attacking and defending. Oftentimes pieces are put on certain squares to defend against captures or even checkmate. That piece becomes a critical defender of the position. In this position, the black knight on f6 is an important defender. Can you see what it's defending? It's protecting the critical h7 square. Notice that the queen and bishop of white are lined up on the b1 to h7 diagonal and are pointing directly at that square. After knight takes f6 check, white removes the key guard from the h7 square. After bishop takes f6, white wins the game with queen takes h7. Checkmate. Let's take a look at another example. In this position, the pawn on g3 is a critical defender. Can you see why? Notice black's queen and rook are lined up on the g file, ready to attack. So the g-pawn is actually a shield for the bishop and king, both lined up on the g-file. After rook takes f4, black is sacrificing a rook, but it's not really a sacrifice. Because if white recaptures the rook, notice the g-file is wide open, and black is able to play queen takes g2, checkmate. Let's take a look at one more position together. In this position, black is up a knight for a pawn and decides to offer a trade of queens, thinking it would be a good idea to enter a favorable endgame up a knight. Black makes a big mistake by playing queen e6. White can use a removing the guard tactic to turn the game around. Can you find it? That's right, rook takes g7. White removes the queen's guard, and after king takes g7, queen takes e6, white wins a knight and a queen, for a rook. So now white enters a winning endgame. Now it's your turn to practice removing the guard.